Does anybody remember this game? Well, I'm sure you do. Who could forget exploring your way through a bunch of random areas, trying to find out where to go next? Well, just in case you don't know about this game, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. You play as a bounty hunter named Samus Aaron, who's trying to stunt the leader of the Space Pirates, Mother Brain. While looking for Mother Brain, you find yourself picking up a bunch of power-ups, which includes energies, weapons, missiles, and whatever else you can find. All this while blasting your way through hordes of endless enemies. In the original Metroid, the Space Pirates are attempting to rule the galaxy using Metroids. Metroids are these cute little gooey creatures that latch onto you with their razor-sharp fangs and suck the life right out of you. In Metroid 2, The Return of Samus, the Galactic Federation attempts to wipe out the entire Metroid existence, but ends up failing and calls Samus. Samus ends up fighting all sorts of different Metroids, which include Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and Omega Metroids. After defeating the Queen Metroid, Samus finds an unhatched egg and attempts to shoot at it, but just before she can fire her gun, the baby Metroid hatches from its egg. The story continues later on in the Super Nintendo game Super Metroid, which shows what happened after the baby Metroid hatched. Samus drops off the Metroid at the Ceres Research Lab. She later gets a distress signal, but after going back to the Ceres Research Lab, she finds that it's been destroyed by Ridley, who takes off with the baby Metroid. After finally catching up with Ridley after battling Kraid, and a couple of new bosses called Fantoon and Dragon, she once again stumbles onto Mother Brain. Just before being annihilated by Mother Brain, the same baby Metroid that hatched protects her by latching onto Mother Brain. After giving energy to Samus, the Metroid is then blasted to its oblivion by Mother Brain. Samus then goes off in a blistering rage and obtains the Hyper Beam. After finishing off Mother Brain for good this time, she barely makes it off of Planet Zebus just before it explodes. The next game in this series is Metroid Fusion. Samus gets infected by a strange parasite, which is later on named the X-Parasite. Just before the X-Parasite could finish Samus off, the researchers discovered that the Metroid cells were the cure for this new parasite. This led to the development of Samus' fusion suit, which has the ability to absorb the X-Parasites and convert them into energy. They discover that the X-Parasite somehow has the ability to mimic whatever it destroyed, the things that it infects. Samus later finds that she too has been copied by the X. Containing all of her original powers and weapons, Samus is left with no other choice but to avoid it. After finally getting enough power to confront it, she ends up defeating it, but just before she can absorb all its powers, it runs away. After making her way back to her ship, she discovers the Omega Metroid. Having absolutely no power to defeat it, Samus appears to be defeated. But just before all hope is lost, Samus X returns. After being defeated by the Omega Metroid, Samus finally absorbs the Samus X, which gives her her Ice Beam back, which she then uses to destroy the Omega Metroid. The NES version also had a remake for the Game Boy Advance. It was called Metroid Zero Mission. Well, that's all I'm going to do today. If you would like me to cover the 3D series, let me know. So see you guys later, and thanks for watching.